Um, today I just want to share a quick update <clears throat> on this jackfruit. So this jackfruit has been here for a while, I think like ever since um, we built this greenhouse and uh, we decided to buy, to buy the jackfruit trees. Um, we bought this one from an advanced tree and after many many years, you know, it struggled a lot in this heat and then the winter time. But finally, this is my first ever fruit. <laughs> so last time, um, I don't know whether I did a video, but I was just showing this tree and the fruit was like this big last year. So, and you know what? It has been one whole year and the fruit is still here and it's only this big. And as you know, jackfruit uh, can grow up to like about 20 kilos. Um, so this is why I'm here. I think it's just fun standing under the jackfruit tree <laughs> and just to showcase this my very first one. Um, you know, I'm not sure whether it's going to survive. I mean, it survived for 12 months now, but uh, we will see where it goes to. I'll just get out for a second. So. You know, um, this tree here won't be, it won't survive if we didn't put it under the shade. So the weather in Perth, this is way up north, like about maybe 150k, wait, no, an hour and, uh, an hour and a half to drive from Perth city to here and uh, roughly you're doing 100 to 110k per hour. I never really calculate the kilometer, so I can't tell you how, how far it is. But this tree up in this area, unless you live up in Carnarvon, which is a more further up north, and it's about 10 hours to drive from Perth, um, they seem to grow uh, tropical trees fruit trees very successfully and Carnarvon is known to be the banana plantation like a uh, farm place um, they not only grow bananas they grow all sorts of other Asian or subtropical and tropical fruits um, and there are quite a few Vietnamese people up there doing farming but if you were growing this down here um, if I show you along this way this tree is doing well this one here, they're really this, uh, growing at the same time. You know, they're from the same nursery, same length, um, but this one is not doing so well. And the one down here as well, uh, the same. Um, but they are not fruiting as yet because it dies uh, quite easily. And because, um, like I said, the extreme weather down here, if you were to grow it in the metro area, it should be fine. Because I've seen a lot of Vietnamese people, I'm guessing they're Vietnamese, <laughs> as I'm driving <clears throat> um, in the metro area and just around like the more Vietnamese suburb, um, I've noticed people growing this and they have big fruit. Um, and certainly in Perth, there are a lot more tropical fruits that's coming through that I've seen. Uh, especially this year, I've seen a lot of jackfruits and they are about from, I think the cheapest probably 15 kilos, but on average $18 to $25, $28 per kilo for jackfruit. So it's very quite expensive. Um, but that's not the reason why I grew jackfruit because I actually like them um, and they're great for cooking as in when the jackfruit is young, they're just like the breadfruit. They're very similar family. And in the uh, Vietnamese vegetarian world, they use the young jackfruit to make uh, an alternative for like uh, uh, meat, like like fake meat. And um, I know they use it for, for cooking. Um, so that's it. Um, if you can grow a jackfruit tree, grow a jackfruit tree <laughs> so in here is the other greenhouse and um, these are more jackfruit trees so these are quite young 
as you can see it's very small the trunk is very like this size um, this particular tree has lots of fruit and you can see here and I said you know I can I can be help uh, hopeful that it will grow but I doubt that these fruit will survive whereas over here <coughs> um, th these one here they got quite a few larger fruit as well so out of this one I got like about four um, I don't know whether they survive but uh, certainly this one this tree on the my left has more of a chance than the one in here so um, there we go that's the other uh, the other specimen <laughs> I can show you these one are not the wet type you know jackfruit there there are quite a few varieties I believe this one is the crispy one I could be wrong I just have to wait until they actually come into full maturity and I can taste the flesh itself but my personal take is that I don't like the wet one it smells really funky and um, it doesn't have that crunchy fibrous uh, jackfruit kind of taste or texture okay that's it bye